Hello Kate. Hello Johnny. How are you doing today? Very good, thanks. Now what's that you're holding in your hand? It's an enema bag. You need to be hanging it up by a hook. Yeah. Here, and then you fill this bit with water. What sort of water? Um, you need the purest water you've got. Okay. It needs to be two thirds cold and one third boiled. Okay, and what are you just doing there? That's we need to explain everything very carefully. That's the nozzle that goes at the end. <laughs> That's that the valve. Thing. So you fill, you get your water, which is um, two litres of water. Yeah. And you fill that up and you have to have the nozzle closed, the valve closed. Okay. Um, when you fill it up and then you find your hook. Yeah. And then you hang it up and you have to have it gravity so that you don't, if it's going like that then it's, the water's not going to flow and so you have to make sure it's high enough that gravity is working. <coughs> so the best place okay. to do it when you're starting, the best place to do it is in a bathroom. Yeah. So that you don't make a mess when you're running from the floor to the toilet. So okay. you find a hook in the bathroom yeah. and put some towels on the floor oh. and lie down on the towels and have this hanging up. And then, yeah. Are the towels in case you have some sort of a mishap? Uh, leakage. Leakage. Is common. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. So towels are definitely, and also it's just not nice to lie on the floor, so it's better to lie on the towel. Okay. And you need to lubricate this with something like aloe vera gel or coconut oil, or whatever your preferred method of lubrication is. Okay, so you've got it up on the hook. Yeah. You're lying on the floor. Yeah. And you stick that up your bum. Yeah. And then you turn the valve and yeah. the water will start to flush in. And as it's coming in, you massage your tummy. And really? This is, yeah, go on. This is your colon here. Your colon starts here and it goes up across there. So you massage like that. Oh. And it's like, it's like if you think of a washing machine, it's like if you just put the water in, the clothes aren't going to get clean, but you need to really rub it around and give yeah. it a really good rummage so that all the water starts swishing around and you have like little pockets in your colon wall, there's all little pockets and that's where all the shit kind of collects. And the more you massage it like that, the more you just kind of push the bits out of the pocket and loosen it all up. Yeah. So you start here where your colon starts, you start here and keep massaging like crossways like that. Yeah. So you just keep massaging round and round and you'll feel, once the water starts to fill up, you'll be able to feel where it is and give it a really good swish. And then mm. when it's full, um, when you start, you often can't use the whole bag, you might need to stop halfway. Um, if you get discomfort, just stop it and um, don't overdo it. <clears throat> and then once you're done, you lie on your side, on your right side, so that again you're working with gravity and then the water's pushing it as far into your colon as it can go. So you lie on your right side, and if you can, stay there for 10 minutes and hold the water for 10 minutes. Mm. That's um, what are there time. any cramps or anything that you might experience? Yeah, that is, the more the thing is, it tones your muscles. Um, it um, it's it, the it's like doing um, what do they call it? Um, pelvic floor exercises to mm. strengthen the per perineum. And the more you do enemas, the stronger the colon wall gets because it's that muscle's used to holding. Um, so when you start, that's why it's much harder. And then the more you do them, the, the stronger your wall gets and so the better you get at holding them. Um, but when you start it, yeah, you'll get like spasms. The stuff is being flushed down. It kind of flushes stuff out and you get spasms. And, and it's like a fine line to know when to hold it and when to let go. You should try and hold it because the more you can hold it, the more you're going to flush out then you don't want to have an accident so if you've really got to go then you've got to go um, and let it don't don't make it it shouldn't be painful oh. but you can you can you should try it and work through the spasm and like if you tense your tense your legs and tense your ankles that helps as well <laughs> tensing your legs and really yeah it helps um just hold yeah then let the spasm pass the camera wobbled a bit then because <laughs> I was clenching my anus just to see what it was like. <laughs> okay. And um, and then when you go on the loo, what do you do then? 
I so you just, run yeah, to the take loo. A book. I would take a book when you're lying on your side. I take a book because you want to try and stay there for as long as possible and you want to take your mind off what you're doing. So it's good to have a book and try and hold it for 10 minutes. And then 10 minutes is plenty of time. And then sit on the toilet and take a book again. Because what happens is a lot will gush out straight away. But mm. then some of it takes time and you'll find that you can sit there for a couple of minutes and then you'll get another gush. And mm. it's just all old stuff. That collects that comes out. And do you continue massaging while you're on the loo? Or? You can do. I don't usually, I just sit and read. Oh, and the other thing that's really important is um, that we all sit on the toilet wrong, and it's oh. actually the worst position in mm. terms of um, your colon is to sit how we sit like this. Mm. And that's why in the east they never sit like that. Nice. So I always have a little stool. So you want a little stool. Um, so that the, the stool is level with the toilet, so your feet are up like this. Okay. And that helps release everything because um, you're putting like, and that's a part of the reason why a lot of people in the West have colon problems like diverticulitis mm. and IBS. Yes, I'm the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I would snuck while you're doing it in the middle. No, it's not getting while you're doing an anima. Really? Or maybe a bit distracting. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the sort of place you really feel like having a snog, is it? Really? But if you did, I would just try and restrain till you mm. finished. Yeah. 100% focus, 100% concentration. Um, I just wanted to say about the things to put in the water. And when you do the first one, it's best to just do plain water because that's just cleansing, but you need something in the water to activate it. So I usually just put some drops of essential oil in. Like lavender is good for calming, peppermint is stimulating, and eucalyptus and tea tree are very cleansing. So I usually put like five or ten drops in two litres of water. <coughs> or you could just put some MSM in, like a teaspoon of MSM powder. Um, MSM um, is good for the joints, it, it loosens everything, so it's, it's very good for getting right in there and just helping everything flush it out. Um, and then the second one you can put more um, nutritional things in because the colon wall is very absorbent so you're getting all that nutrition absorbed straight into the colon wall. Um, it's a good thing um, if you're having digestive problems, it's a good way to get nutrition into you like people that have really severe morning sickness and can't eat because they just throw everything up you can get um, you can get your nutrition into the animal through the colon wall. So I like to do um, I like to put some always some hemp oil or some flax oil in to get the EFAs in and I always put some MSM in and I always put some probiotics in to restore the friendly bacteria in the colon and then I'll put some superfood in like spirulina powder or wheatgrass juice or um, barley grass powder or chocolate, my latest discovery is chocolate enemas. <laughs> which are really good because there's so many antioxidants and minerals in the cacao and that's getting straight into the colon. Um, aloe vera is really good. Aloe vera is really, really good for rebalancing the gut. Um, noni juice is really cleansing. Um, those are probably the main ones. Okay, so do you want to now tell us how you do the massaging? And... Yeah. Okay. So you need to lie on your back on the towel. And you need to have the end of a bag hooked up somewhere high, like on the back of the door where the towel hooks are, or on a hook on the wall, and it needs to be above your feet so that gravity is working. And then you have the tube inserted, and um, you let the water come in, and you have to massage your colon. So your colon goes from here, across like this, so you massage, and give it a really good massage. And then um, when all the water's gone in, then you can turn onto your side. And then, um, again, gravity helps the water, all the water move down into the cup. So it's better to lie on this side. And I usually have a book or something and lie there for 10 minutes. Well, as long as you can. If you've got all the time in the world, hold it as long as you can. But 10 minutes is plenty. Is that what we need to know? I think so. Fantastic. Bye. Bye, Johnny.